Hello, my lovely YouTube audience. Green text can be a uh, lot of things, but today I just wanted to look at the ones that intrigued me. Don't get me wrong, the chance that any of these are real is very low, but that actually gives me faith in humanity, to be honest. I'm at the point where I'm just gonna assume they're all lies to put my mind at ease. Just lie? You really think someone would do that? Just go on the internet and tell lies? So let's just cut to the chase and read out a few for you guys and I hope you enjoy. I'll start light for y'all. Fell for the throw your shit in the attic meme. That face when parrots are pissed. The damage costs a fortune to fix and the smell isn't going away. My parents are thinking of kicking me out. I'm seriously scared. What are you talking about? What, what meme? So you don't have to leave your room to shit. And so you don't have to go in jugs. You can just throw it in the attic. Okay. I have a little trap door to the attic in my closet. I threw my shit up there and you said that squirrels would carry it away, but they haven't. And it just builds up and damages the house. This is one I actually do want to believe because the thought of it's just kind of funny to me. Hey. Throw your shit in the attic. We gotta clear some space. Clear some space? Yeah, put your stuff in the attic. Oh! Oh, by shit you meant stuff? Oh, huh. that's, that's silly of me. <laughs> oh, quite, God, quite what's silly. Uh, play Harry Potter. Black people in the castle. Uninstall and refund. Seriously, it just kept taking me out of the game and I stopped enjoying it. Guys, I'm sick and tired of people acting like black people don't exist in Harry Potter. I mean, Kingsley Shacklebolt is right there. I mean, he's great representation. Thank you very much to JK Rowling for a very thoughtful approach to diversity. Uh, give it up for JK Rowling. She really puts a lot of thought into her characters, into her minority characters. I think my favorite example is Cho Chang, who you would never guess, but she's actually Asian. Be me, like 12 or something. Jacking off in my room at night. Door is open because it's night and everyone should be asleep. Dog sleep in my room. Dog snaps up and growls at the door. Figure standing in my doorway watching me. Hear my dad's voice whisper, snitch. Why did this happen, slash B? Quick answer, it didn't happen. It, it didn't. It didn't happen. It's not real. Next. Trans girl. Dad came in my room today. He told me his coworker gave him two tickets to see the Giants game this weekend. Asked me if I wanted to come with him. Told dad that I don't know anything about football and he should take a friend instead. He said that's fine and said he just wants to spend the day with me. Felt kind of happy and said okay. He said he'll take me somewhere nice afterwards too so to look forward to it. Is this one of those father-daughter dates? Time for sex O. Oh. Hey, hey guys, uh, cool little request here. A little request. Can we be fucking normal? Can we, like, for real? Can we be fucking normal? I think this one pushed me over the edge. I, I'm done. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed, I would really appreciate if you liked, commented, and subscribed. Uh, it would mean a lot to me. I hope you guys have a good day or good night. And yeah, cheers. Bye bye. <laughs>